The Saudi crown prince is trying to reinforce his goodwill, redeem his image. He's trying to mend ties with Riyadh's neighbors. Neighbors that had grown apart in the recent years, three of them in particular, Egypt, Jordan and Turkey. All three have outstanding issues with Riyadh. MBS is trying to settle them. In the last three days, he has visited all three countries and tried to woo their leaders, bridge the gaps. As I speak, he's in Turkey holding talks with President Erdogan. Our next report tells you more about it. He is the de facto ruler of Saudi Arabia, an elusive and impulsive crown prince known for his grandiose reform plans. In the last four years, Mohammed bin Salman's ambitions had put him at odds with West Asia. They had damaged the kingdom's ties with its neighbors. Jordan blamed the crown prince for a failed coup plot in Amman. A dispute over territorial waters created fissures between Egypt and Saudi Arabia. And the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi strained Riyadh's ties with Ankara. Four years on, MBS is trying to let bygones be bygones. He has embarked on a three-country tour. A tour aimed at restoring Saudi's regional supremacy. The timing is crucial. This tour comes right before Joe Biden's visit to Riyadh. So what MBS is essentially trying to do is demonstrate to Biden that he's far from isolated and that Saudi Arabia remains a key player in the region. The tour started with Egypt, the land of pyramids. MBS went there on Monday, met Egyptian President El Sisi, signed 14 pacts worth 7 billion US dollars and discussed solutions to the prevailing territorial tensions. The next stop was Jordan, the custodian of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. In 2020, Saudi Arabia's growing closeness to Israel had unnerved Jordan about its hold on the mosque. A man feared the normalization of ties could alter the status quo. Then in 2021, reports emerged that Jordan's Prince Hamza had sought help from Riyadh in toppling his brother. Both issues had led to turbulence in bilateral ties. On Tuesday, MBS tried to settle the differences by offering economic assistance to Amman and $3 billion in investment projects. On the last leg of his tour, the Crown Prince has landed in Turkey, the first visit since the murder of Jamal Khashoggi in 2018. Khashoggi was a fierce Saudi critic murdered in the Kingdom's consulate in Turkey. The killing led to a bitter rift the Crown Prince will try to heal it on this visit. And this is the broader theme of his tour bridging divides. The Saudi Crown Prince wants to redeem his image. He wants to mend ties with Turkey and bury the Khashoggi story. What is in it for Erdogan? Money. Turkey's economy is in shambles. They need financial support. That's priority number one. As Erdogan launches his election campaign, presidential polls in Turkey will be held in June 2023. So both leaders have buried the hatchet. It's true what they say. There are no permanent friends or enemies in geopolitics, only interests. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.